God is always speaking. We have to understand that it is God's desire to speak to us. It is God's desire to speak to us. Why? Because God wants to have fellowship with us. But in order to have fellowship, you have to have communication. It's you can't have fellowship without communication, some form of communication. Um, scientists said those uh, psychologists that con they, that that uh, cons uh, that counsel um, married couples, and they have made an observation. Uh, that for a couple to have a healthy relationship, uh, a couple must communicate at minimum 90 minutes a week, uninterrupted, uh, meaningful, deep connected communication. So if a, if us, in a physical relationship, in a relationship with our spouse, with our significant other, we have to have communication. We have to have open channel of communication. We have to dedicate a specific time uh, to, to, to communicate, to hear each other out in order to have a healthy relationship. How, mo how much more is our Heavenly Father who desires to have fellowship with us who desires to have communion with us through his spirit, he wants to speak to us. Oftentimes, when we think of uh, communication with God, we think this way. We come to God, we pray. And prayer for us means usually a couple things. We come to him, we thank him. We uh, pray for His will to be done in our life. We uh, intercede. Uh, we bring supplication before the Lord. We do spiritual warfare. We pray in tons. And maybe one or more two things. And that's what prayer means to us. And usually what that indicates is that us speaking to God. It's one way street. And we rarely get in our prayer to the place where we silence ourselves and have fellowship, have communion, tune in to hear God speak to us. We don't get to that part in prayer, which in my opinion is the more important part because it's far more important to hear what He has to say for us than what we have to say to him. Write this down. It's far more important to hear what God has to say to us or for us than what we have to say to God. Now there's this extreme that, oh, we don't, you know, we don't need to uh, pray. We just need to hear God speak to us. No, the Bible does clearly say that we need to pray. We need to uh, petition for things. We need to uh, wage a spiritual warfare. The Bible says to come to His throne with praises and thanksgiving. Uh, and uh, so all of these elements must be there in our prayer. But this is the, that's half of the prayer. The other half of prayer is us hearing from God and learning to tune in into that heavenly frequency and hearing what God has to say.